Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. This is Raisa. If it's been a while and you'd like to check in with me, visit crystallineguidance.com. Also join monthly newsletters to receive an email when a new blog is posted. They're very timely and hopefully they are really, really assisting you on your path. Today in this video we're going to have guardian angels speaking about imbalances in this world, how to keep focus on your goal and not to get distracted by so much that is happening in many areas of our lives, whether they are directly or indirectly affecting you. Please stay vigilant and remember that the most important is your relationship with God. Maybe it's time that we start reading our scriptures again. And if you grew up with the other holy texts, read them because they are truly healing. Eye-opening, mind-expanding, very good for us to pay attention and have very strong immunity. So this is from our guardian angels. Polarity imbalance. What looks like theatrical play in many cases, it is. It continues to play out because it finds ways to reappear from different angles until you may be forced into it without ever having any interest. Many people who started on their spiritual journey as what you'd call earth angels somehow got sucked into politicized exchanges. There has been much on that topic on your news and pushed through entertainment shows. Why is everything politicized all of a sudden? What if this is just a mask and in actuality a forefront for mass mental alteration? Clarity is needed so that when something strange is pushed down, you will know whether it is for you, why this is happening, and what is the end game. Due to technological achievements and limit of time, timing of the play, it may not even be personal, but just an event where someone could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Significance of that is being caught up whether while in the body or even after leaving the body, because your mental projection is close to soul's projection that could get confused by making illusion as truth within its beliefs construct. This specificity of terms relies closely upon the negative influence coming, which unless dealt with in a proactive manner could potentially take over the land masses with souls and their minds. This is a different type of warfare, spoken of thousands of years ago in the books known as Revelation, written by one of Jesus' students who learned to see through time and space. His visions showed him what felt like would happen very soon in his life and very much coincides with what is happening in your now and will further in time. You may wonder why humanity is on the same wheel learning or not learning from their own mistakes. How many times does it take the soul to come back and be part of the same turning events which lead to similar outcomes? Learning in this case comes with memory, remembering your past, for this system can continue because the soul comes back and gives it power. The symbol of Garden of Eden, light beings giving their power to other than their creator, to something that spoke as knowledgeable yet got them to be cast out and eventually lose natural immortality, if you will. 
It has taken thousands of years to correct it. Work in progress. Propaganda frequency rampant amongst those who seek God, turning them into a herd. The atmosphere on the earth is changing globally. Once the new norm is initiated, the force will have made its way through. Meanwhile, the crowds enjoy night out, like a dome placed over and around to live in the world of illusion, because they cannot handle the truth of their own reality. By then, the senses will be shut down due to conditioning blocking off cognizance and astuteness. We urge each and every one of you to gain courage within your hearts, to beam the love of God brighter into all the corners of the earth, hold warmth in your homes and in your relationships. Keep charging your inner batteries to hold the light for the time needed to recognize the one who opened the way. To respond to his call, Share wisdom and kindness with those who are willing to receive. It is a joyful experience, for you are not the only one called to help humanity. Thousands coming in each year for those who can, who choose to. Choice. To bring the millennia of peace, multitudes must gather in their hearts to send the desire around the planet, becoming civilized with all the creatures of our Creator, respecting life and the forces of life, from the visible to the non-visible. The more minds unite, the faster and stronger the power of peace will descend. When it begins, you will live in a peaceful environment without an agenda to control the minds. We want more of you to withstand. Ask for guidance, hear intuition, and follow the steps. Your forefathers paved the way, too, for more future generations to evolve into mature spirits for the highest good of all. There is a variety of souls currently on your planet from different galaxies. Each has their own background, history of existence and accomplishments. Until the millennia of peace, everyone will have to work hard to remember their purpose. Then every soul will come into a healed family with both parents open to divine providence and cosmic connection. Then you will experience life without many obstacles, resistance, and pain to accomplish something meaningful. Your lives will be filled with eagerness for more new. Until then, get the necessities to make your lives similar to what you desire. Kindness, compassion, patience, joy, awareness, love for self and others. Do it diligently to make it happen faster. We are always with you. In the name of the Holy, we want you to hear this. Your daily choices bring results. Choose wisely. And that was short and sweet, maybe not too sweet, right? <laughs> so what to add to this? There is more and more pushed as if secrets revealed and whatnot. This has happened before in many countries. This is nothing new. It is only because it is in our present time the difference now is that it is easier for mass manipulation due to being too busy clicking and looking at the screens of the devices. Instruction is always to read uh, that which was written for us. 
it is always the prayer to connect to God. Because no matter which timeline we are participating in, if it's happy, you get more blessings. If it's not so happy, you need guidance, therefore praying to God, right? It is always advisable to make your relationship with God a priority. Even if you're not going to participate in mass exit, to stay alert, you have to keep praying. Those videos that tell you wake up are not going to wake you up. <laughs> Only your relationship with Christ is going to wake you up. So it doesn't matter how many videos on 5D and awakening you can watch. It will not save you and it will not pave the way to the higher dimension. Only your relationship with your creator will open up the gates to the higher level of living. On a soul level, your higher consciousness, everything else will be an illusion. Things you liked and you didn't like that are a priority in the daily life, get forgotten. It's like when you go to sleep, you are seeing a different environment and much is completely forgotten. It is not important because it's a different reality. So can you imagine leaving the body? Even more so, this one is going to be an illusion. But that which needs to change for the better is for the reality for those who want to experience the new while in the body that means that they even need to stay alert even more because it's very easy to get distracted while in the body in this specific reality it took lifetimes to get here and in this life, it took decades to get here. So everyone contributed. Passively or actively. This is the result. And depending on how we handle whatever globally humanity is going through, is going to yield results next year. It takes many of those who are truly seeking the kingdom first, like Jesus said, to keep their focus and to stay away from anything that is distracting because it promotes more garbage. It needs to do that because more and more goodness is coming in from the higher dimensions. And for that purpose, you must step up. And this is a timeline that is going to dictate where you're going to go as a soul. This is the life and this is the timeline. There is no way to miss it. There is no way to make a mistake. Everyone will be choosing consciously. There is no way to escape. You will basically pick your God, your creator, or not. That's it. We don't know how long this timeline is going to last. It is extremely challenging for many. For those who it isn't seeming to be challenging, you can keep praying for the rest because it is common for people to have everything in order and they think that they're saved and everything is fine the thing is if we don't show compassion this is Christ's love then all the things in our lives that are in order might not be seen by your creator as being genuine and just so conscience plays a very important part in our spiritual journey. Spiritual journey is a way of living. 
It is about the genuine relationship with the Creator and seeing, respecting others. I hope this was helpful and I want to wish you a blessed day. Namaste.